What's good, everybody? Welcome back to Life Hack Media TV. It's your boy Chad back with another video. You saw the thumbnail, you saw the title. This one right here is about home warranties. And my message to you is to never, ever, 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 ever get a home warranty. There's only one scenario when you possibly might want to get one. But before we get into it, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload new content. All right, let's get to it, man. Home warranties. That is the biggest, one of the biggest scams known to man. I've wasted thousands and thousands of dollars messing around with home warranties. And what I didn't know, I didn't know. But now I know better. I want to pass that on to you guys. So what is a home warranty? Home warranty, man, is... It's basically... When you buy a, uh, you, you get, you know, you do a service contract agreement where you make a monthly payment every month. And if something breaks in your house, um, I like to use the term peach. If the plumbing goes bad, something electrical goes bad, your appliances, right? Central air and heat. Those are the main components, the, you know, the things in your house, water heater, garage door, something goes out. You pay a monthly fee and then something breaks down, you call the home warranty company and they will send somebody out to come make a repair. Now on paper, in theory, that sounds great. The problem is there's a lot of shadiness goes on behind the background. So the company that I was with though was called HSA Home Warranty. And I should have picked up on the reviews. I mean, I saw some good reviews, but overall, they rated like three three stars out of five. But most of these companies are all the same. You know, there's a couple that, pretty, that might be pretty good, but I would highly recommend that you stay away from all of them. But the company that I was with, HSA Warranty. And like I said before, you know, it covers stuff like central heat and air, Duckworth detached stuff, plumbing parts, water, gas, things, refrigerator, trash compactor, dishwasher, you know, covers a lot of things. So on paper, it sounds good, but I'm here to tell you right now, it ain't worth the money. So here's a little story for you. I want to share with you. So I went many, 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 many months a few years before any where I needed to even use it. But when I first started with them, the monthly payment was like $56 a month, right? So that wasn't too bad. I didn't have any money put back, much saved. So I was thinking if something goes wrong in the house, you know, $3,000 air conditioning unit goes out, you know, I don't have that, you know, don't have the funds to just pay that right up front at the time. So that, you know, I called them to come out and fix it. Well, Lo and behold, my refrigerator went out. And that was the first time I had to use use the company, the home warranty. So I called them up. And when I called, before they re would even take any kind of information down what was going on with my refrigerator, they wanted the $75. So I had to pay a $75 service di diagnostic fee just to get them to contact a refrigerator repair company to come out before we even did anything like that. So that was $75 right up the top. Then when they contact the refrigerator company to come out and repair your, your, your appliance, they're not calling somebody that's local, that's down the street that you might be familiar with that you might want to use. Uh, 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 it doesn't work that way with these home warranties. What they do is find the, the least qualified person that's going to charge them the least amount of money to come out to repair your appliance or whatever's wrong in your house. That's right. So what, what these home warranty companies do, they take, they get as much money as they can from the customer. But when something needs, when a claim is filed, when something is wrong, they want to spend out the least amount of money to get it repaired. And they'll find any kind of loophole not to repair it. But back to the story. So they called a person to come out that they didn't come out until 
four or five days later. Now, keep in mind, this is a refrigerator. Thank God I didn't, have, I didn't have small kids or elderly like parents or grandparents live with me at the time because all the food that I had in the refrigerator was going to, you know, go and spoil. So four or five days before they even came out. Then when the technician came out, he was like, we don't have the parts to repair your refrigerator. So it's going to be another week and a half before we can get that part in. And I'm like, what? How are you going to be a refrigerator repair man and don't have the parts to repair the refrigerator? And not only that, we got to wait another week and a half before you even get the part in. So that didn't sit well with me at all, man. I was like, man, this is some bull. You know what? So I had to use, you, you remember being in college or like staying in a dorm or something or one of your apartments or something, you had the little small refrigerator. So I had one of those small refrigerators that I kept that I never got rid of. I had to plug that suck in and keep a little packs of meat, you know, those little packets of meats, cool, and a couple of waters and a couple of Gatorades in there, stuff like that, just to get me through. So they finally come out and repair the thing. But keep in mind, two and a half, three weeks had passed. So all I didn't get refunded for none of my food that went bad or anything. So I was like, yo, this is not good. So I stayed with them. My dumb ass stayed with them after that. So my monthly bill started going up. So it went from $56 all the way up to the last time I made a payment with them was like $88 a month. So I went from $56 to $88 a month. And then when I called them about, you know, why my bill keep going up, they would give you this baloney bull crap about, well, you know, the contractors, they're, they're increasing their rates, so we have to adjust the amount you pay every month. It's a bunch of BS, man. Like I said before, they try to get as much money as, out of you as possible. But then when, it, when you need something repaired, they take as long as they can and find the lowest costing contractor to come out or make a repair. And these people that come out, they're not the top notch people. And so, you know, you feel like you deserve your stuff to be fixed right, but they're not bringing out, they're not sending out those type of people. So I'm telling you, I don't want this video to go on too long. I don't like to make long videos. I'm telling you for anybody that watches this video, share it with anybody, you know, do not get a home warranty. The only caveat, the only way I would say get a home warranty is like when you're in a situation like I was, I didn't have a lot of money saved up. I was scared, you know, if something breaks in the house, I didn't buy a brand new house, right? I was scared if the HVAC system or the water heater goes out or something expensive goes out that needs to be repaired, I wanted to be covered because I didn't have the back, you know, the money saved up. So what I'm saying to you is that is the only situation where I would recommend you getting some type of home warranty. But make sure you do your research and don't just use anybody because there's a lot of BS out there and just put back your money, put back, you know, 70, $80 a month, hundred dollars a month. And then by 12 months, you'll have $1,200 for an emergency. Most, most things that go break in the house. I mean, I've been living in this house for 10 years now. You're not going to have a, a major appliance or major something go out like back to back or, in a, you know, so if you put your money back, you, sh you definitely should be good to go. But um, yeah, don't do it. Don't do it. All right, look, guys, that gonna, that's going to be it for this video. Make sure to hit the like button, man. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload new content. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Hit the motherfucking subscribe button. Like and share. Go on.